Here's a trend that caught our eye because it involves a kind of dangerous mayhem that we never heard of before. In one case, four Orange County teenagers have been arrested for launching dry ice bombs. They meant it as a prank, but the charges are so serious that the teens were first held on $1 million bail. ABC's Abby Boudreau has the story. These soda bottles don't look dangerous, but watch what happens when you put dry ice and liquid in them. They become improvised explosive devices. Watch it again in slow motion. And look at the damage. It's a dangerous stunt that's gone viral online, apparently attracting teenage boys who love blowing things up. But Brandon Reinhardt doesn't see the humor. Something flew into my, my window, which was open. Reinhardt says a passing car of teenage boys threw a plastic water bottle into his car, not realizing at first it had dry ice in it. Just as I looked down, it exploded uh, right into my face. Police arrested four young men. Two were charged with misdemeanors, including this former high school football star from Orange County, California. We booked them for possession of an explosive device with the intent to terrify or cause injury. Dry ice is nothing but solidified carbon dioxide at about minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It could very easily blow off a finger, damage an eye, shatter glass. We're talking about a genuine explosion that could literally kill you. This YouTube video shows a close call. This boy can't get out of the way fast enough and it explodes while he's holding it. At one of the world's largest ice manufacturing companies, Arctic Glacier, they're well aware that dry ice, pressurized in a container, can be deadly. When you contain it, and let's say a, a Coke bottle or something like that, and you add a fluid to it, you accelerate that pressure significantly, and you just it will just slowly keep building and building and building until boom, it's just going to explode. A, a bomb, essentially. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and though some consider it an innocent prank, police call it a crime that could have deadly consequences. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles.